What's up guys, my name is Brendan and today I'm gonna give you a tutorial on cork swing cork and give you some tips on icy, clean, consistent swing chains. First guys, the most important thing is that you understand the body positions and the spotting that you'll need to be doing while doing cork swings. It's all about consistency and understanding where your body is in its position. The first position that I want you guys to focus on is the eagle. So both your arms are going to be behind your back, your chest is going to be arched, your left leg is going to be super strong because that's going to be your plant leg if you twist to your left, and your right leg should be cocked back behind you ready to swing. You should be using your glutes to raise that leg off the ground as high as you can and arching out your back slightly. And when you do your eagle, you should be spotting directly in front of you. The second body position is the set, which for the cork is going to be the gainer body position. You're going to be going from that arched back to a hollow back. You're going to be bringing your arms from behind you to in front of you. You're going to be taking that right leg from behind you and dragging it in front of you. Take your head and start spotting behind you. Spotting behind you will let you lean and give you that lean that you need for consistent cork chains. The last body position that you guys need to get into is the twisting position. So you're going to be looking towards your left, spotting the ground, pulling your arms in towards your left shoulder, tucking in your left leg, the leg you just jumped off of. That'll decrease the amount of flip you need, just like how back tuck, the tighter you tuck, the faster you flip, same with the cork. But your right leg should be nice and straight, lining up with your axis of twisting. That's how you get that icy rotisserie leg kind of look. Now, after you finish your twisting, spot your landing and open back up into that eagle and just start over. Cork chains is nothing more than just a cork, copy and paste it over and over and over again. Now, let me give you guys some tips to help you guys get that more consistent and more easy and a little bit more icy. First tip, when it comes to swing chains, you don't need a lot of height. It's always better to go low and fast than high and floaty. So try and make your swing chains very low and very quick. Focus on speed of the skill rather than height or float. That'll make your swing chains a lot more consistent and easier to do in long durations. Two, avoid extra movements. If you lean back too much, you need to correct for that and move your body. Now you can correct for that in a number of ways, but you need to do that. And that excess body movement is gonna show in your technique. And minimizing that is how you get consistent, clean, icy corks, is just by doing only those three body positions over and over and over again, copy and paste it. Number three, make sure your right leg, your swing leg, is as straight as it can be. If your swing leg is bent, you're going to be missing out on a little bit of power. Now it can be bent when it's in the air, that's not as big of an issue, but as you're swinging, as you're gaining that momentum, your right leg needs to be straight to get the most amount of power possible. Now your left leg needs to maintain and be strong. So focus on keeping your right leg straight and your left leg super strong, jumping off the ground every single time, ready to take that impact and then push you back up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to get any of the clothing that I'm wearing, go to howtomastertricking.com slash masterathleticwear to get some premium tricking clothing inspired by tricking for the tricking community. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here with the tutorials with everything. Now I want to say a huge thank you because none of this would be possible if it wasn't for the support of all the patrons. Having them give me a little bit of a base to work off of and improve the series by getting a camera, by working on designing and getting the clothing done, it has meant the world to me and none of this could be possible without them. So thank you guys very much. Have a lovely day. Two, two, two.